Welcome again to another random unboxing of stuff here, part two. Now I've got, uh, let's see, six items, no, five items this time, but they're all like individual items, not all consolidated into one box like I did with uh, my Reed Shipper beforehand. Although you can see this here is um, sent via my U-Shop Reed Shipper in America, but sometimes I just send one item by itself other than waiting to uh, package them all up together and hey look at what this is this i can see already is my orca harness no wait not my orca harness my orca waist belt got that wrong because um yeah i've got a harness already although it's a uh... oh i forgot what brand harness i have terrible what kind of memory do i have this this is uh, the orca waist belt so i don't know like i don't think i'm gonna be a big fan of a waist belt i think i do prefer a harness a lot more but like, there's no harm in trying out new things, and who knows, I might find the waist belt for maybe really small shoots, maybe I'll like it more. So, um, yeah, it just sort of sits around my waist like this, of course you can't really see it because it's too low down. And I have no camera operator to pan down to my uh, belt. Anyway, but yeah, basically this, this goes around, although I need to let this out because um, it's a bit too skinny for me at the moment. So yeah, this goes around like this. And so it's nice thick webbing here that will be really sort of comfortable and put the weight on your hips rather than on your back. And then you've got these sort of um, clip spits here that will sort of be attached to your bag and that way will make the bag just sort of sit there right. So you've got four clips in total that will go in like the four corners um, above and below for your bag to keep that secure. And so yeah, that, that is the Orca harness. Probably do a maybe more detailed video one day in the months to come. So, sweet. Again, I think I just um, got lucky and I saw it going really cheap and I'm like, don't need it, but it was like so little. And then this is like one of the Electrosonics, um, just handy bags. And like, I wouldn't normally buy something like this, because uh, it's really just, I mean, it's Electrosonics branded bag, but it really is just basically, you know, a basic bag, you know, you put stuff in. But it's quite nice leather quality. And it was like five bucks or something. And it was from the same seller who sold this. So I was like, yeah, I combined this and got this for the same amount as what you might pay for a random one at an op store or whatever. But um but hey, this is like a real like quality little Sonics branded bag. So sweet, cool, deal, score. Oh yeah, and this also came with a bag too. This is um yeah, the Orca OR37, and just one of their their kind of nice bags. I don't even, I don't even remember buying this. But yeah, we're all kind of from the same seller. Probably pay another five bucks for it or whatever. But see, because it's clear, you can see more easily what you've got inside it. So I really should buy more little bags like this that have a clear top. So at a glance, I can more easily tell what's inside. It will like keep my organization and speed up. And so that's that item. Now onto the second of the five. This is uh, from China, sort of a, Big here, bulky thing. I'm not even really sure what this could be. I think it's of this size from China. Um, oh, yes, yes, cool, cool, cool. This, this is a, a dual battery charger. So I've got the exact same charger, but set up for um, the BPU, the Sony BPU batteries, like the BPU 60, BPU 30. And I quite like it, taking sort of dual charges to it once. And it's got this nice display on, on the front, which sort of, you know, tells you what percentage is charged. Well, this does exactly the same, but it's for the NPF batteries from Sony, because I've got lots of Sony NPF batteries, and I don't um, use them so much in the, in the sound world, but quite often for when I'm doing camera, I use them to power monitors, or maybe lights, or recorders, and that, that firmware was DOP for a few weeks back. I guess my ACs were sort of struggling to maybe use the charges I had for the NPF. I mean, kind of, like just the, this is just like dummy proof and, and handy to use. So I thought, oh, I'll get at least one or two of these chargers. Though they're a bit more expensive than just like the really plain NPF chargers. Um, yeah, just an extra bonus. Uh, more chargers, never a bad thing. Yeah, like I, I, I ordered um, like some more AA battery chargers. Because you, know, you get to the end of the day and you have like a 60 AA batteries or something to charge up. And, you, and uh, oh, on top of NPFs, these are, these are, oh. This is my third item on unboxing. These are basically just two more NPF 
batteries. But yeah, are these the normal normal MPF or those the special MPF ones I was looking for? Are they MPFs? <sighs> yeah, so this is basically yeah, what an MPF battery looks like. They're, they're pretty similar to the BPU, except they're a lot cheaper and they have like a seven about seven volt output, while the Sony BPU batteries are used for 14 volt output, which is what I need. So if you wanted to power your bag on two NPF batteries, which is like a much cheaper way to go about it, you kind of need to kind of put got to put two of these in uh, having a mind blank series of power allows so that you basically have have the voltage step up to uh, 14 volts for what you might need to power your bag with. Um, you know, like this for instance, you look on the bottom and it would say it needs 12 volts. Well, 14 is close enough. Um, Cool, and now we're on to the, did I just go through three boxes here? This is on to the fourth, fourth box. What is in here? It's, is this also from U Shop? No, wait, yes, it's also from U Shop, I think. What did I get from America? Oh, oh, ha, remember the previous part one unboxing I was talking about how I was buying myself this, um, here it is, iPod Touch. Well, now I have the iPad Mini. Now uh, I didn't get the latest generation, I think I got like the one generation back. Because again, I don't need the fanciest thing, it's just simply purely for the sound recording. This is what I'm going to be using it for. Um, so it doesn't have to be the latest generation. So if you go back a generation or two, you get them so much cheaper than what the latest stuff is selling for. So yeah, I didn't pay much at all for this. And you can see I've got a much bigger screen than this. So you know, if I've got a little cart or a desk set up, I'll use this, if I'm operating from the bag, I used to do a small iPod Touch. So um, yeah, it's a nice sort of double option setup here I have, and I've got to each of course act like a backup to the other one. If one goes down, I still can use this, or the other one. Um, I'm actually kind of thinking I might even buy like a second iPod Touch, because they are so cheap. And that way I've always got one charged up. I can, you know, this one goes flat, I can just grab the other one while it's charged. I mean, the other option, of course, is keep it charged in the bag, but like, phew, so cheap, it kind of seems easy and simpler just to run two each day. Um, plus, you know, of course, you use one of them, like, velcro to a, um, a, 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 oh, I should just remember something. You could also use one of them velcro to a, um, a slate, for instance, so you could see the time code running from like the technical sync e Bluetooth software on the app, so that could be one handy use to get a few more iPod touches for. And just remember, um, this one did not actually come from um, U-Shop, I actually had to use a different reshipper, because when I sent it to my U-Shop reshipper, they didn't want to send it to me because of the big battery inside it, it just got really like super strict about what kind of batteries you're gonna be shipping to New Zealand. And I'm just like, oh god, so they basically gave me different options to either resend it back to the person I bought it from, or to destroy it, no thank you, or to send it on to a different address. So basically, I created a new account at a different reshipper. I can't even remember what the name of that other reshipper I used. Anyway, this reshipper is a bit more laid back about what they send. And um, so I then <laughs> sent it on to that other reshipper, and then from that reshipper, I sent it to here in New Zealand. So this iPad went through quite a journey. It, I bought it from a guy on eBay in America, which my first reshipper couldn't be sent here because of the battery in the iPad. So I sent it to a second reshipper who would ship it then to me here in New Zealand. Ah, oh, the hassles you have. But still, like, I still like got this for so little. It's, it's much cheaper than if I'd, um, and easier than if I'd try to look for one on, on trade me in New Zealand, I reckon. And like, look at it. Looks in like, I can't see anything wrong with like the screen. Yeah, it looks in great condition. Like new, really. And now, for the last of the five parcels, this is something from, ah, around the corner. It's from some guy, some guy in Auckland. Send it to me. What do I buy, what do I buy from somebody in Auckland? I don't normally buy that much stuff locally. Like I said, I'm normally like dealing with the hassles of uh, buying stuff from overseas. <laughs> Even if it means like, doing a double reshipper shipping mint. Um, what did I? Oh wait. That doesn't quite make sense. Why does it say it's from somebody in New Zealand? Maybe they used to reship it here in New Zealand to get it to me. I got this from China is where I purchased this from. Because what's in here? Anyway, I'll 
Maybe I'm not reading the label. But anyway, what's in here is six more nine volt batteries. Oh, yay. This is going to make life much, oh, well, I don't have enough nine volt chargers. So it'll make life a bit harder. Unless I've got a nine volt charger somewhere around here still to be unboxed. But you know how I was saying before, I purchased this and, and, um, and I came down here specifically to pick it up before tomorrow's shoot, just so I've got one more transmitter that runs off double A's. And I'm not having to stretch thin my too few um, 9 volt rechargeables. Well, I've just gone from half a dozen 9 volts to a dozen. So, yay, more 9 volts. Um, so, yeah, I just bought a whole bunch more 9 volt rechargeables, and I'm really glad they're here. Probably should even buy some more, like probably a dozen isn't really enough, depending upon, depending upon the shoot that I'm doing. And um, anyway, you can see here how basically they ship them inside. They don't ship them loose. They ship them inside like these little little um, plastic boxes. The reason is that if you ever have these two 9-volt batteries touch the ends together, it'll be like kaboom. Well, maybe not a kaboom, but not, not, not a good result. It's really bad. If, um, so you've got to be really careful any time you're transporting, even if you're like transporting them in your car or your bag or whatever. Um, use something like this to protect them so that they don't bounce around and hit each other. That, that's the safety first. Anyway, so this is all just good news, good news, good news all round. And um, if you found something interesting you learned from listening to my video, tell me about it. Got questions? Let me know. Don't like it? Give me a thumbs down. Uh, don't, 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 don't. Anyway, see you next time.